be like you Now I just be like me And I don't care about you I'm in my bed Yeah, yeah, look at me, look at me, look at I was sold up in the basement till I got my shot People took my shot, then I took it I am so cute, so pretty, so hot and sexy At least that's how she said that I'm looking Trying to be anything less than phenomenal Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. As you can see from the intro, as you can see from the intro, I am so obsessed with this wig. I'm feeling like a microphone. I'm feeling like a disco ball. I'm feeling like a superstar. I am feeling like I am glowing and shining and just lighting up every single room that I enter. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So this wig was sent to me from So Good Hair. I will have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. The wig that I received is 18 inches, 150% density, and it is a 360 lace wig. I did request that they did not put a adjustable strap on the back of it because when I typically get 360 wigs, I want them to look exactly the same in the back as they do in the front so that they can look as natural as possible. And of course, no one has a adjustable strap on their skin in real life, right? So typically when I get a 360 wig, I have to remove that adjustable strap, but I love the fact that this company did offer the option of it coming without an adjustable strap. So basically if you put a 360 wig on your head and it does not have a strap on it and you need it tighter, you can just use an elastic band to have a custom fit. I also did request for this company to fully pluck the knots so that it's not just pre-plucked like a lot of companies offer. I wanted them to really pluck it way more than they typically would and they did also do that. So here is how the wig looks fully plucked straight from the company. I did not pluck it at all. So in the back of the wig where the nape is, which you're seeing right now, the hairline does look natural. However, I feel like at the very base of it, it is very full right there. And I'm just gonna grab my tweezers and just tweeze away a few of those hair strands just so that it could look a lot more natural. Of course, the whole idea of a 360 wig is so that the back can look as natural as the front. Everything that is done to the front has to be done to the back and everything that is done to the back has to be done to the front so that it is a perfect circle of symmetry, right? So because the front hairline doesn't have this um, thick dots or those thick dots surrounding the hairline, I want to make sure that the back doesn't have it either. So just grabbing my tweezers and tweezing away some of those hairs will help it look identical to the front hairline. So how do you think this company did with the plucking? Do you think they did a great job? Let's chat down below in the comment section about the plucking in the front and back and how it came straight out of the package. The knots of this wig are also bleached as well. Okay, so here is how the back hairline is looking or the nape area of the wig. It looks so much better now that I did remove some of those hairs from the very edge of it. I love it. I'm obsessed with how the back is looking. So there are a few areas that are a bit over plucked and I'm just going to grab some hair tinsels today because we're going for a very sparkly and glamorous look. I'll be grabbing these silver holographic hair tinsels as well as a ventilation needle. I'll be taking my time and going through the hair and just making sure that any area that may be a little bit too sparse or over plucked is fully filled in with these holographic hair tinsels. Here's how the ventilation needle looks and one of the hair tinsels. I'm literally going to grab the hook stick the hook through the net or lace then i'm going to attach that hair tinsel and pull it through the lace this is a very 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 tricky process and it did take me i want to say about 10 hours to complete this wig but it was so worth it because the final result is so beautiful and it's a one-of-a-kind wig for sure and for the holidays new year's birthday parties any type of event that you want to go to and look glamorous even a wedding, I feel like this is a showstopper and it's definitely worth the time and effort if you wanna stand out. So after I pull that hook through and the hair tinsel is in the lace, I wanna make sure to secure it by tying it twice.
10 hours or so later here is our beautiful beautiful wig i love it i am so obsessed you cannot go anywhere and see someone with this same hairstyle you can't like i can't imagine walking into an event and someone else has this or walking into a holiday party or new year's party and someone has this hairstyle i just can't see it happening and i'm obsessed it's just such an eye-catching hairstyle look at that beautiful rainbow look how it sparkles and glistens and shines i just literally i love them i love hair tinsels and i think that this hairstyle is going to come out so cute so let's get started with styling grabbing the first section of hair i will be applying a hair serum to the section and then i'll be flat ironing it i'm going to take my time and just really go over each section with my flat iron until it is bone straight and yes you can curl and flat iron hair tinsels <laughs> This wig is giving me everything that Met Gala should be giving. Hashtag Met Gala. So it's now time to install the wig. The first thing that I'm going to grab is alcohol and I'm going to clean off my forehead with this alcohol. I am working in sections because I am doing a 360 wig and it's much easier to apply it when you're working in sections. So first I will be applying the frontal portion of the wig and then I will be applying the back nape area of the wig. So I'll be doing the same thing to the front that I'll be doing to the back. And that's basically applying that alcohol first, then using scalp protector and applying that to my scalp. Grabbing the wig, I'm going to place it on my head and make sure that it is lined up, making sure that the ear tabs are where they need to be. And then I'm grabbing a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut two slices in the extra lace. And that is sectioning off this extra lace into three different sections. Pinning back the left and right portion, I'm going to push the wig backwards and this is giving me a very clear view of the hairline. Grabbing Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel in the black tube, I will apply a thin layer of the middle section first and then blow dry for about five seconds until it is tacky. Grabbing that extra lace, I am going to place it over that tacky gel and then use the back end of my comb to press it into that tacky gel. I'm gonna follow those steps for the left and right sections and then put my headscarf on for about 10 to 15 minutes to allow it to set. 15 minutes later, it is now time to cut off that extra lace. Grabbing a pair of scissors, I'm gonna cut off that extra lace by basically following the natural curvature of the frontal all right, so now it's time to work on the back portion of the wig. I'm going to literally do everything in the exact order that I did to the front, except for because I am putting this wig in a high bun and ponytail, I need the back to have a stronger hold. So instead of using got to be ultra glue gel, I'll be using a glue for the back just so that it can hold up while the hair is being placed in a ponytail or bun. So pulling down the wig in the back, I do see that my nape area is longer than the nape of the wig, which means that my hairline will be showing through the wig. There are other options that I can do, like shave my nape down so that it can be, you know, identical to the wig's nape. I can cut those hairs down with scissors, or I can just choose to do baby hairs on the wig, and that will kind of hide the fact that my hair or kitchen naps in the back are showing. But I'm going to choose to just put the glue directly on my hair, and I don't mind because I do have a very powerful lace glue remover spray that I do use whenever I am wearing wigs and I have glue to adhere them down and it never damages my hair. It does release that glue and lace and my hair is never damaged. So I'm just gonna brush my kitchen naps up <laughs> and pray for the best y'all. 
So today I'll be using this Bold Hold Max silicone lace adhesive glue. And I have used this before. It is not the easiest product to work with. I love the fact that it is clear and it is waterproof. However, I do not like the fact that because it is a silicone adhesive, it's very stringy and hard to apply. I am doing this by myself. And of course you see, I am using a 360 mirror. If you're unfamiliar with that mirror, it is a must have to have if you are doing your wigs yourself and you need to see exactly what you're doing in the back i'll have the link to the mirror that i'm using in this video down below in the description box here is how that silicone adhesive looks it's hard 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 to work with as you can see it's very stringy so getting a very smooth application is extremely difficult but the show must go on i must glue this wig down in the back so i am going to do it as best as I can given the circumstances. Now that that lace is down onto the glue, it's time to cut off that extra lace. Grabbing my scissors, I'm just gonna carefully go along the hairline and remove that extra lace. Now, of course, because my hairline is showing through the wig, I am going to add baby hairs to this wig. Baby hairs are always optional. You do not have to add baby hairs to any 360 wig, but I love the way that Nate baby hairs look anyway. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut away some of the length from the bottom portion of this wig. And then I'm gonna grab my curling iron and I'm going to first do like a spiral curl on the left and right sides because I like how that looks. And then for the middle of the nape, I'm just gonna curl that baby hair under. Ooh la la, I'm loving how this is looking already. To mold my hair into a high ponytail, I'll be using cock grease. I'm also gonna use this to keep the baby hairs down, but I'm using cock grease in the back just to have a separation of the baby hairs and the hairs um, you know, above it. And then I'll be using cock grease in the front as well to help mold it into that ponytail. And here we are. Here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. If you're new here, don't forget to turn that post notification bell on turn the post notification bell on and subscribe down below as well. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes and direct links to this gorgeous 360 wig from So Good Hair. The links and everything will be down below in the description box. What do you think about this wig and where would you wear this wig to? Let's chat down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching my channel. I'll have more videos posted weekly. Let me know what you wanna see down below in the comment section and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.